Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a sound play when a part is touched. So for starters, we're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are open. If Explorer and Properties are not open, we will head over to the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explorer and Properties. Uh, now that we have enabled Explorer and Properties, we want to go and make our part. For this tutorial, we can just use a simple part like this. So if a player touches this with their humanoid, with their character their avatar a sound will play so we're just going to do something like that let's just make sure to anchor it feel free to customize it to whatever you want so once you've finished customizing your part you want to go over to explore and click on the plus button next to your part and insert a script we want to just want to close the script then over here and then we want to click on the plus button again plus button again and insert a sound you now want to go and insert your sound id right here in the properties area and you just kind of want to leave everything how it is. You can adjust the volume, but that's up to you. But you just want to insert your sound ID here. Once you've inserted your sound ID, you want to head back to the script and you want to remove all the previous code, then go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that's in the description and bring it back to Roblox Studio. So copy that and paste it in. So now what the script does, if you, a humanoid, also known as a Roblox character, touches our part here, a sound will play. The sound ID will play, depending on what sound ID you put in, the music or sound effect will play. You can use this on a coin if you want, but for this tutorial, we're going to be leaving it as like this. But let's say you wanted it to have, make the part disappear when someone clicks on it, or sorry, when someone, someone's avatar walks onto the part for a matter of seconds, what we want to do. So you can leave it like this if you want the part to stay visible, and every time they click it, the sound effect plays. But let's say you wanted it to go invisible when someone clicks on it. We want to just go and type this in. So script.parent, because what we're doing, we're going to the script, then, oh, sorry, to the parent, then transparency equals one. So I'm not done here, but I'm going to kind of give you a run through on what this does here. So basically, this directs the code to go to this certain script, so this script here, and then it goes to the parent of the script, which is our part. Then it goes to the part property called transparency and sets it to one, which basically makes it invisible. So now in the next line, we want to do script.parent again, dot can touch, and we want to set this to false. So, so what this does again, it goes from the script to the parent, then it goes down to the property of can touch and makes it false, basically unticking it, that's what it does. Then we want to put on a wait time on how long you want the transparency and the can touch to be disabled. So we just want to go and let's go to type in maybe three. We'll put in a three there, just like that. Then we want to make another line and we just want to do the exact same thing as we did before. Parent.transparency equals zero because now after three seconds, we're setting it back to what it was originally. And then we're here, script.parent.can touch equals um, for true, just like that. So now what this will do, it will go back to the script, to the parent, and set the transparency to zero so that the part is visible. And over here, it will go script.parent.cantouch, and it will make sure that that is ticked. So now let's say you wanted to make the players be able to walk through the part even when it's not visible. You just want to go over to the properties of your part and untick can collide. Keep in mind, if you do not want the part to go invisible and people not be able to see it when they step on the part and the audio plays, all you want to do is just remove this part right here and just keep everything else. So just remove this if you do not want the part to go invisible. As you guys can see, we are now in the base player and if we go and walk onto this part, the transparency will be set to one and we the can collide, we'll be able to walk straight through it and not have kind of like a bump over here. So if we go and walk on this, as you guys can see, an audio played and the transparency left. And each time we click on the part, the sound plays, okay? But now I'm gonna be showing you how to make it so it shows in your leader stats, just like a coin would in a game. So for us to be able to get set up for this coin thing, we're just gonna be inserting a, our leader stats. If you want a full run through on how to make the part give you currency, watch my previous videos, which will be an, an info card right in the right corner of the screen right now but we want to insert our leader set and then we also want to get we want to get our part which gives us the coin so now that you've inserted your coin and if you want to know how to set up your coin go and watch my previous videos 
So what will this will do now? This coin will give us our leader stats. Oh, well, sorry. If you walk into this coin, you will be given one leader stats. But now we're going to add in an audio. So if someone steps on this or walks through this, an audio is played notifying them that they have just got one coin. So what we want to do, we want to head over to our part. And as you guys can see, we've got the script here. We want to leave the script for now and we want to go and click on the plus button and insert another sound because we need the sound. Then you want to go and insert your sound ID here and leave all the other settings unless you want to change the volume here. But just go and insert your sound ID. Once you've inserted your sound ID, go and click on the script and you want to go down to the bottom here, just below kind of line 59, line 60, somewhere there. So now you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste script two, which is going to be for the coin script. So now that you've inserted the second part of the code, what this does here, we are, this is exactly what we had just before in the previous part, but we just don't have the can touch and transparency thing in the code because we do not need that. Because in this coin script already, it already has a respawn time of five. Keep in mind, you can change the respawn time. But as you guys can see here in this part of the script on line 43, the script dot the parent got can touch equals false transparency yada 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 and it waits the respawn time and all we need to do is just make this here paste this in here so now that you've done that we, know we want to go up here click on close and once you've added all your leader stats added all the necessary things we want to go and go test it out here by clicking on play as you guys can see we are now in the base plate and as soon as we go and walk into this part we'll be given one coin and a sound will play as you guys can see, we received one coin from that and also an audio played. If we go and test that one last time, if we go and run through into the part, the audio plays and we receive one leader stats. Now, if you test this out in either team test or the main Roblox page, the data will save, basically meaning so if someone leaves the server and they have 50 coins and then they join back three days later, they will still have the 50 coins and they can continue where they left off. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway guys, have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.